Let's become relaxed using our breathing. Breathe in a little more deeply than before. Breathe at your own pace in and out. Notice the minute movements as you swell and reduce in size. Breathing in and out, letting that breath curl inside you around and out again. Go down in your body with that breath, moving in and out, a little further every time inside, right down your hips, down to your feet, and back up again. Breathe in and let that circle down your arms to your fingers. Notice where your point of consciousness goes to in your body with each breath. spacious, more relaxed, more at peace. Do a scan of your body from the top of your head downwards all the way to your toes and as you scan downwards sense for anywhere where your muscles are tight, where your body is aching and tired. Feel for anywhere where extra peace and calm could go. And as you scan that area, imagine your breath is massaging it. And each breath in is a warm golden glow, going to those places, moving through them and leaving them soft and regenerated. in your head where you think, where you process each thought. That spot is normally between our eyes, in the forehead. Let your breath now pick up that tiny speck of thought and begin to move it wherever it goes. And let that speck move outwards and explore. Imagine that thinking point is approaching close to a big wise tree, some great tree with a thick trunk that you may know in real life or 
that might be appearing in fantasy for you. In the bark or down in the archways where the roots push down into the soil, there will be a hole in that tree, a small opening, and your thinking point of consciousness will go into there. Go forwards, past the bark, go into the warm moist soil. Have the smell of soil close to you, feel its wetness going past you on your skin. We push through its moist granules, past the tendrils of roots, going deeper and deeper into the earth. Not afraid of the wonderful rich blackness down here, the minerals, the nutrients all around. And ahead of us is a small fleck of white stone, a little fragment of white that as you get closer is opaque, keeping something back not revealing everything in its opacity. As we meet this white point in all this darkness, we aren't sure if this is a dead end, a diversion, if the route lies ahead in further darkness. Or if we should stay with this white fragment, learn more about it. Feel the smooth, cool stone between your finger and your thumb. Perhaps it is a mineral helper a guide down here, waiting for you, waiting in all this dark for something to notice it. Hold this white stone fragment in your hands a few moments, press it hard against your skin, feel it, how it doesn't give but how smooth it is. What does this little stone suggest to you right now? We pass through the stone and all becomes white sky. We are high up above the earth in cloud. And you are in the wicker basket of an art air balloon, its enormous teardrop shaped bulk above your head. Notice what colour or what colours the balloon appears as to you. Also above your head is the roaring flaming jet, the burning gas that keeps us aloft. You're alone in this basket, but it feels sturdy and secure around you. You lean your back against it, with your elbows poking over the basket top, admiring the flame, the balloon overhead, the white sky and the clouds curling all around. noise up here, that roar of flame, the sound of the wind blowing past you, around you. Dimly through the clouds here and there, you get vague glimpses of the earth, a patchwork of fields far below us, the dull metallic sheen of ocean or river. It seems curiously removed and the clouds steal over once again, leaving us in white. Over to one side, there is golden light, 
where the sun is struggling to break through this cloud bank and find you, but it never quite does. This high in the sky, alone, in the next few moments you'll be joined remotely by some flying guides, by some creatures who have some teaching to share with you. So whether a flock of something will fly by underneath the basket, or some single flying creature will draw near, take a few moments to allow what happens up here to unfold. What is drawing near to the basket? Although this balloon keeps us safely aloft, we seem quite powerless to direct it one way or another. We're conscious of direction from where the sun tries to break through the clouds, those hints of gold we see, the warmth on our skin. But the balloon turns at the whim of the wind, and it feels like around us are unlimited potential directions, the many stimuli that life can send our way. It is a maze of infinite directions, infinite turns, infinite maneuvers, in which we in our basket are powerless and passive. This is an illusion. You will find you can direct the balloon in certain directions simply by focusing your will, your attention, on where you want to go. So try that now. Feel what might be below the clouds with your intuition. Or feel for where the sun is, where it's warming the land and urge the balloon to go in that direction. You will find you can steer it through your thoughts. The clouds thin below us, stretch apart dissipating to allow a clear view of the landscape. Below you, across the countryside in the daylight, is a network of roads and lanes surrounding the fields. Not at all neat, like a great dark scrawl with a pen in many directions laid across that green checkerboard. Some of those roads are busy, with many cars upon them. Some are quiet, empty, overgrown. Some are neglected, fallen trees in places block them. And these roads, this massive dark network stretching across the land, represents a big investment you've made over the last year to a person, to a way of life, to an ideal. 
that may have been willed by you or resulted from a lot of pressure from other people. It could represent, for instance, the amount of energy and time you spend in getting to and from a workplace or a family member's home or some other big commitment in your time and energy that you go through almost daily without question. From this high up in the balloon you may be able to detect what the busier roads represent for you, what the quieter, less travelled ones are, what the neglected ones are too. But what will be revealed as well is a glowing area of road from one point to another that represents out of the whole dark mass the true energy required to go from A to B for that commitment. Depending on where your life is at, that glowing area could be much of the pattern or it could be a very small amount. It could be telling you that most of your work was needed or that in fact in your mind the investment is much bigger than reality really requires. Tune in now to all those networks and what they mean to you below and to the glowing portion. What is it you're being shown down there? Let's will our balloon to move away from those patterns below. Instead, the landscape fills with waterways. These two form an interlinked base. Gentle looking, reflecting the trees down there. Not so busy, conducive to natural life. Let yourself scan those reflective pathways down there. Some of them will appear to be dead ends. Others will link up with each other in complicated squiggles. Again, these represent pathways you've invested energy in. But this is more emotional energy over the last year. These are how your emotions have flowed. So you might sense intuitively what some of the dead ends were, what some of the complicated link-ups are that lead you into other waterways, which areas you like going along and which ones feel stagnant, leave you uncomfortable. Imagine you could see yourself down there at different times of the past year. In some, you might be in a boat, rowing furiously, in a hurry, urgent with emotions. And in other places you might spot yourself floating by on a craft, completely passive, staring at the sky. Once again, take a few moments 
to survey this landscape below you and what those reflective waterways are saying to you. Do you think if you have that year again, you will respond to it in the same way? The flames roar in the balloon, keeping us level. And over the basket side now, we're moving over hillsides lit in golden sun, an enormous maze of hedges, clipped and neat, with grass pathways between them, and many small dots of colour where people are moving along. There seem to be many centers to this maze, or perhaps they are inflated dead ends. They contain white pavilions, structures for resting and enjoying and looking over the view. These pavilions are what you have collected and kept safe over the last year. As you go over them, let yourself scan and intuitively decide what you have pavilioned this year, what you have identified as needing conservation and storage. What has been honored and collected in the landscape below you and as you float over, is there anything you may have omitted to keep safe and hold near? people in those hedged pathways down there in the maze are the people who've been in your life in the last year. They seem oblivious to you, surprisingly, as this balloon goes by, close overhead now. You can spy on them with them having no awareness you are there. Assess them with emotional honesty, but without judgment. Notice which people down there are vivid, are well defined, have energy to them and seem to draw you to them. And notice also the ones who are fainter, as if half transparent, who perhaps move slower, who might need things from you and drain you for their colour and movement. You are invisible up here to them, and you have the opportunity, if only to yourself, to notice who really matters, and who makes you feel good. 
will find many flowers in the base of this balloon basket. And as you go over, the people who do matter to you, throw flowers down. Let them be surprised by flowers falling from nowhere at their feet. Who would you throw these to? From here, you can look in all directions across your life maze. Remember the people you threw flowers to. Remember the pavilions too, of what has been important to you in the last year. Think of what might be floating along those waterways that was good emotionally in the last 12 months. And in that further away busy network of roads and lanes, what out of that busyness has been important and needed in your tasks? We're thinking of all those things so that from up here we can draw the things that are important are worthwhile and beneficial close to us as if you are shouting directions to those lost in the maze who you want to have near you here bring them close whether with words or emotional pictures will closer to you all that was good from the last year the work you're proud of that you've done great connections you've made, the beautiful projects you undertook and completed. It's time to leave this maze we can return to any time you wish to. Up here you'll be aware of the breeze moving around you. And that breeze will move a little more insistently round your shoulders over your head. And because you are as light as a feather, it can pick you up quite easily and hold you as securely as a parent holding a child turns you on your back so you can begin to float away on the breeze and this landscape can drift by underneath us the many hedge pathways drifting like a green golden glow to the back of your mind instead we're seeking out where we've left our bodies sitting or lying down go and find your body through the rooftops through the ceilings and position yourself a few inches above your physical outline so we can breathe ourselves back in. Breathe in and go down with that breath right down your body to where your heels, your toes and your ankles are and leave yourself down there. Breathe in again and go down through your body past the hips to the ankles, the calves and the knees and leave yourself there as well so your essence is staying in your body and you're returning down there to the correct weight. We breathe in again and now go down to the thighs and the hips, to the tummy, making that ours again. Breathe in from your tummy up your spine 
to where the ribs fan out so you're filling the torso now and your body is starting to feel organic and whole. We breathe in and go down each arm all the way to the fingertips, the palms and the wrists, placing ourselves there. Breathe in and fill from the wrists up to the elbows and then up to the shoulders too so the whole of your arms feel connected to your body. Now we breathe in and from the top of the torso go up the neck into the head. Fill the space in your mouth, between your ears, beneath your skull. Breathe in and bring that little point of you that thinks so it sits once more between your eyes, in your forehead. Keep breathing in and scan for anywhere that still feels a little spacey and empty and take yourself to those areas so they fill. Try wiggling your fingers and your toes. And when you are ready, let's open up our eyes. <laughs>